Hi, this is David Castillo. This video is a multiple session cover-up. Uh, first, I'm going to show you a still image of what he had. Then I'm going to show you a still image of the line work, which I didn't take a video of because it's line work. Then I'm going to start the video, give you an explanation on that. Uh, tattoo isn't completed yet, so I'll post more videos as they become available. Uh, thank you for watching. For watching. Okay, right here is a six second clip of what he had that we were covering up. Next is a six second clip of the outline that I skipped the video for. And then we jump straight into, uh, looks like some black work. I applied a little bit of marker to show uh, where my deepest parts are going to be, all of my black. Um, I'm actually using black on this. Normally I'd probably use something very deep, like a really deep purple or extremely deep blue, but uh, you know, I kind of have a bold outline on a lot of this, so I wanted that outline to you know, be pretty, pretty bold as well. Uh, so uh, I think black on both sides of the blue highlight uh, will really bring out the blue highlights a lot more. So you'll notice at the end of this video, uh, the blue light, the blue lighting on the bio itself is actually just going to be one solid color for now. We're going to probably add in more detail to that, uh, you know, a little bit later. But for now, it's just solid. A little bit of saturation in there, just so we can sort of move on and try to get this done as quickly as possible. Right now, I'm using uh, my Stigma Hyper version 2. Uh, I thought it'd work best for this tattoo. Uh, you know, it runs a. Uh, I'm running it really, pretty soft. I'm using a seven round shader for this. Uh, all of this work actually. Uh, just working in there, um, little by little, trying to add a tiny bit of texture so it gives a tunnel look right where I'm working. So make sure I have a sufficient depth in there with my black. I want it to be pretty pretty dark in there. You're going to notice there's a lot of black in there. And uh, just moving up with more black. It's just uh, sort of shaping with the black. Uh, so that way I can just kind of run through a little bit of random texture uh, a little bit later, you know. Just kind of freehand it all and get it in there. I'm not really looking for anything perfect. You notice I'm not... I drew the sides similar but not symmetrical. You know, I didn't want it to be like a mirrored image. Uh, so, you know, when, when I... I just drew it on him with marker when we lined it out, so... I actually uh, drew a concept for him also. So he had a vague idea of what he was gonna get. You know, he didn't just sit in the chair. Uh, I think I put colored pencil concept on my Facebook somewhere. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free to send me a friend request, check it out. I'm just going through shaping more with more black. It's extremely exciting. It looks like I'm working in that tunnel effect now. Uh, really only getting one side done today, not even completely, uh, it was just the first session. There's quite a bit under the weather, weather actually this day as well, so. I think we stopped at four or five hours, something like that. And this is going to map out all of my deeper colors. They're just going to kind of follow the same path as my black here. And then the lighter color is just kind of going to shape around uh, where I want my white highlights to be. Give it a real quick wipe. Looks like I might be heading to some dark brown. Oh, wait. Nope. Purple. Heading to purple. 
Looks like some deep purple actually from Intense. It's an amazing color. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I use it pretty frequently. Oh, when this heals up, it looks probably on the video to me at least right now, it looks solid black in the middle. Uh, it's not quite that dark, but it is pretty, it's a pretty deep value. Looks like I'm using some uh, bright purple right there. Brighten it up a little bit. I believe that's an intense as well. Probably using a lavender from intense also. For all those final touches. Seeing we have a pretty deep uh, tunnel effect there. As I shift around, I'm either in the light or not in the light. You'll notice the, the lighting shift quite a bit. Uh, but you could still get a pretty good idea of uh, the highlights. Working in that other tunnel, just getting some of those purples done. Now the reason I went with all the black like this and just the purples, it just seemed like it might be a little bit faster um, in this situation. So I'm not, for the most part, going uh, just section by section. Uh, I think I pretty much will be from here on out, but almost kind of getting each color out of the way at the same time in each section if that makes sense. Get to see my customers' uh, facial expressions. And you know, if you're not comfortable using a 7 round on something this size, just use whatever you're comfortable with. Maybe a 7 mag, or 7 2 stack, or something. Just coming through here and shaping a little bit of the little bit of the holes. I think some of these, uh, most of these earth tones are actually, I think from Intense's new earth tone set. I bought a one ounce set, tried out. I was pretty happy with them. Got like a chocolate brown in there, some sand browns. And I used some of their greens a little bit later, you'll see. And uh, I used Intense's ochre on this as well. And uh, some Eternal White. I'm just trying to make sure some of these darker tones kind of go with the cover up. Some of that uh, grayed out black that was back there. Make sure some of the dark brown kind of follows those lines. Which should already be kind of pathed out with your black kind of facing the direction that you want it to be you know use the the dark lines that are there all the what you're trying to cover up make sure all your the shape of your texture and everything kind of goes with it in the deepest parts so that way you know you, you cover up you're working with it not against it So just filling in some earth tones here, trying to leave room for a little bit of texture. And this customer sat really well. Hopefully uh, when you're doing something like this yours will as well. A lot of people say that the chest hurts a lot, um, yeah. as long as you're not running at a 12 voltage or something, shouldn't be too bad. This seem really gentle, uh, uses barely any ink also when you're running a 7 round shader. Wipe off some blood, looks like I'm applying a little earth into there, uh, not quite as bright as the blue I'm going to put on top. but. That earth is from uh, the intense earth set, 
as well, or the tone set. Like I said, th this blue right here is solid for now, but we're, we'll work into it on a later session. But for now, I guess the point across. Yeah, you might wonder why I'm using a clip cord on a Stigma, come to think of it. My RCA cable broke. I don't have a solder kit, so I need to buy another RCA cable. Haven't gotten around to it. You'll notice the bottom of this tattoo isn't capped off yet, either. Uh, we'll get to that if he decides, uh, I think he wants to work a little bit lower, but we're just focusing on the cover up now. Looks like I'm adding some dark brown textures into there to kind of get rid of as much of that old tattoo as possible. And then just work in uh, lighter colors over all those. Now you can see here I'm working more by section. It looks like I'm doing the top first so I'm still on earth tones. On the inside, I didn't want anything that's going to blend in too much and look the same. So you're going to notice I'm going to use like an olive green in there, a couple greens, and an okra on the bottom, like on the inside of that. So that way it has a little bit of a contrast. And you'll probably see a little bit more of that interpreted into the piece as we move along. I thought this was a fun cover-up. A lot of people, they don't really trust a lot of people with the cover-up, so I thought this would be a good one to put up. Can learn for it, from it, or... You know, if you want anything similar, uh, just go ahead, contact me, let me know. Uh, we can design something up. And there's the green I was talking about. Still pretty deep. Just kind of trying to separate it from the lighter tones now so you can tell the difference. Between the higher level and the lower parts that kind of dig in. Probably using like a olive, a army, something like that, and a okra down there at the base of it. Wipe that blood, you can take a look, see it already looks quite a bit different, different look to it. Moving on to the next section, getting pretty close to finishing up this, sec this uh, session here. Pretty much the same thing as before, putting in some deep rounds and slowly working in lighter tones. Just kind of shaping the texture with anything deep. Looks like moving into a little bit of a uh, okra there. It looks like a little bit of white highlights. And 
adding in some blue. I think that's Mario's light blue from Intense. I know right now you're probably thinking like, what's that doing there? You'll see when we add the background. I left a six second still frame at the end and look for the next video. Thank you for watching.